So following on from the last video guide, as a quick recap, we now uh, understand the nose interface and uh, we've uh, logged a few of our feeds to um, the MumPy locally and we can see the feed data, the feeds being updated um, here in uh, here at Eamon CMS. So this is being logged locally to the MumPy's um, SD card. So now we'll take a look how we can uh, log the data remotely. We post it to an, a remote Emon CMS server. That could be emoncms.org, or it could be Emon CMS um, installed of a server um, on, on your own server. If uh, if you want to do that, it's all open source. You can download um, um, and set that up. Um, we'll also cover in this guide. Um, how to um, add more nodes into the nodes interface and how and how to configure these nodes. So to do this, we're going to delve into um, the Emon Hub configuration. So this this is a version uh, version one of Emon Hub. We hope to get all this um, um, wrapped up in a nice config configuration GUI. Um, but for now, we're we're, at, we're editing the emonhub.com file. Um, but to make it easy, we've uh, we've broken it out into a um, text editor here. So the first thing to cover is if we want to post data to imoncms.org, our um, open source um, web login and graphing platform. Um, it's very similar to the imoncms that's running on the Pi here, except it's running locally on our own servers. Um, this makes it easier for you to view your data um, when when out and about, um, since you don't have to connect locally um, to your EmonPy. So if we scroll down here, um, the section we're interested in is the EmonCMS.org HTTP interfacer and the API key here. So all we need to do to post data to EmonCMS.org is, is go to uh, EmonCMS.org, create an account then copy and paste the right API key into there. Save save it, and uh, then away we go. So while we're here, let's just have a quick look at uh, what else we have in the config edit editor. This first section here um, contains settings for the RF module, so just what frequency it runs on. If you have an 868 module, you need to set that to be uh, 868. Um, if you're using uh, an, a US AC adapter at uh, on 110 volts, set this to be uh, 110. And you can also change the node ID and network group, um, but these shouldn't need to be shouldn't need to be changed. So scrolling down, here is the nodes um, configuration. This is what's used to create. Um, the this list of nodes here. So listed here are all the all the common nodes um, that can be um, that that we sell pre-provisioned from the Open Energy Monitor shop. So we've got the the MonPy itself, a couple of Emon THs on node nine and ten, and an Emon TH temperature and humidity node on node 19, 20, 21, 22. and these nodes here. Um, can easily be set by just changing the hardware dip switch on the unit and the dip switch uh, position is indicated um, here um, in the node hardware description as well as the node firmware. So if we were to switch dip switch 1 on then we'd have an E1TH on node 20 as opposed to default with both dip switches off it's on node 19. The node ID can also be chosen um, and pre-provisioned. You can make the uh, make the choice uh, um, in the shop when you purchase the unit, and we'll pre-provision them. It's all set up, ready to go for you. However, you're not restricted at all. The beauty of open source, you can uh, we're not not tied down whatsoever. So if you want to add more nodes into here, or you'd like to have a node ID outside of these. Uh, um, pre-configured numbers and that's um, that's easy to do the the Emon Pi well Emon Hub which is the service that we use to um, uh, 
receive the data from the RF on the UMPI and, and post it to um, Emon CMS um, can support up to 33 uh, nodes at one time. So if, if we want to edit these nodes, if we scroll down here, each one of those entries in the nodes table has a corresponding entry in the Emon Hub config editor. So this is the Emon Pi. And using this are the names of the feeds as well as the scalars that are applied um, to get them into the correct uh, magnitude we require as well as the units. Same for the Emon TH and here is the node, the node ID. See so if we scroll down here to the Emon TX, um, an important uh, thing to note here is this is set up for the latest version of the Emon TX, um, version 3, ver ver version 3 half. 0.4 hardware running 1.6 firmware, which we've been shipping for the past couple of months. This has support for multiple temperature sensors and pulse counting. However, if you're running an, um, if you're using an old unit, no problem, it'll work just fine. Um, you just need to um, uncomment like that and comment out all the. Um, lines here that refer to 1.6 and uncomment the 1.4. So we'll just put that back here because we're, we're running 1.6. And once you're done, hit save. So, so while we're here, let's take a look at uh, the one hub log file. This is mainly used for debugging, and if you have any problems, um, if you paste, uh, copy and paste a log file um, into a message to us or um, post on the forums, we'll do our best to um, to answer you as best, as, as best we can. But any errors you might see should come up in this log file here. Um, just quickly pick out a few things. Um, that's showing that a data packet has been received from node 5 which is the emonpy. Here we can see this data packet here has been received from the emon th temp humidity node, which is node 19. And if we were posting to emon CMS, we're, we're, that we're not yet, you can see we're still, we haven't entered an API key in there, but if we were, then we would then see a entry in here saying, um, posting data to emon CMS, okay received which lets us know that's all working okay. There's also an Emon CMS log file with again more logs which can be useful while debugging. So in the next guide we'll cover um, viewing the data in Viz, various graphs and uh, creating, creating dashboards. Thanks for watching.